Would you like to do the intro? You know what my intros are, right? What's up, internet? Yeah. You want to do that? No, I think it's pretty genuine when you do it. All right. What's up, internet? Seeing you up here, and welcome to another special Forza Horizon video. Today I'm playing with a good friend of mine, Taylor. Say hello, Taylor. Hello, Taylor. Hey. So I've just handed Taylor the controller. He knows very little about this game, and I'm just letting him uh, drive around in one of my favorite cars. It's my uh, SLS Mercedes that I've it was. souped up. Well, it still is. It's now just it's a, just my bitch. It's just made of tinfoil now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if you guys are interested in this car's tune or paint job, I have the tune and the paint job up on the storefront, I guess, if you can find it. So go out oh, there and check it out. So, uh, this will be the first video that I put up of the new Forza Horizon at, for the Xbox One. And I put up the video of Forza Horizon 2 for Xbox 360, and that game just plain awful. But, uh, this game is much, much, much better. <laughs> Jim Connor. Yeah. <laughs> This is not Ken Block. I love, uh, I love driving in this car. You can just do burnouts all day. It's wonderful. You know, it handles like a beast. The more you play it, the better it starts to handle. <laughs> but I still can't get over how unresponsive the braking system seems to me. Maybe it's because it's more realistic. It's because I've turned ABS off. It would probably work a lot better if you turn the ABS on, like, you'd be able to just jam on the brakes and be just fine. But it slows you down just a little bit it, when you are trying to brake, like, ferociously brake, so. Yeah. I just can't get over, because I'm used to pulling back on the, uh, the right stick in order to brake. What game was that in? Need for Speed Carbon. Hmm. I played, sure. I played Carbon for a minute, but didn't play with manual clutch. I played automatic. Because that was before I had a manual car, so I didn't know really how shifting works. But now I drive, this is the second manual car I've had, so. It's fucking raining now? Yeah. Like, this session could get any worse. <laughs> Just be happy there's no snow. So that behind you is like the, uh, one of the bucket list challenges that lets you drive a car, like any car from the game to do certain things like it hit top speeds or knock over fence posts or do drift scores I am horrible at this <laughs> there, we go. there you go find that gear yeah find the button <laughs> I'm yeah, not, I'm so not I'm, an Xbox controller person I just, it's so foreign to me this is a First time you played this game, and I've got you playing on manual with clutch, which most people like swear is the devil. But honestly, I mean, when you win drag races non stop using this, like, why would you go back? That's not, is it? Well, I mean, there's drag races in the game. Is that all you do? Mm hmm. But I really enjoy the drag race, let's just say. There's a, um, an airport where you can drag race, and right. it's awesome. There's, um, also, an online free roam, you have the choice of just starting the drag race over and over and over again and picking different cars oh, every time. It's really cool. I can't get over how big the map is. There's a lot of driving space in this game. That's good. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh my god. Doing miracles. <laughs> Jim Connor. <laughs> yeah. Earlier today, I was playing with Steven. I wasn't recording anything, and I was just like... We were talking about some, and then the conversation kind of like uh, <laughs> got really low, and I just drifted straight sideways and slammed off of a tree and started going straight. And I was like, Jim Connor, <laughs> and then we just <laughs> died laughing. It was pretty funny. Hmm. But this game, um, I'll be doing a official like days off video where I give my. I guess review of this because I reviewed Forza Horizon 2 for the Xbox 360 and gave it like game like poop game of the year like shittiest game of the year award pretty much <laughs> that's the poopest game ever. that's the poopest game <laughs> and uh this game honestly is probably in my top five games of the year really yeah it's really good 
There was a lot of things I complained about in the 360 version, and it seems that this version has everything that I wanted for the 360 version. You can basically look inside of people, other people's cars. There's like this car meet thing you can go to where you can rev up other people's cars, engines, yeah. and like play with cars and stuff. That's what's that? Really cool. That was not in the 360 version. Uh, the weather effects you're seeing right now, it's not in the 360 version. Shit. Um, Cheap bastards. The amount of cars and drive tires drive tires or whatever, uh, traffic and stuff, the AI has definitely there it increased. Is. There it is. You just did your 720. Thank you. <laughs> now you gotta do a grind. It's oh. Tony Hawk. I did a grind earlier, took a picture of it. It's on my Forza storefront somewhere. I would say I'll do awesome. a board slide, but I'm driving a car. <laughs> It's a uh, chassis slide at that yeah, point. There, there was a... Um, <laughs> you ever watch Rob Dyrdek's Fantasy Factory? Have I? Yeah. The, um... Like, with Rob and Big and yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, um... He did something with another Monster Energy-sponsored athlete. Um, I don't remember his name, but he drifts... He's, like, in the World Drift Championships, and he drives a Mustang. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, please leave a fucking comment in the comment section so I can remember to put that into this, to, ah, the description so I know what I'm talking about. But uh, they teamed up with him and he basically made skateboarding for cars. He put like... I think I've seen the episode you're talking about. He put about, like actually. grind rails underneath the car and yeah. like did 50-50 grinds and board slides. Now I just want to see him do a... Uh, what is it called? A dark side? A dark, dark slide? Dark slide yeah. That's where you slide the car upside down on its roof. Oh, shit. <laughs> How that would work? I don't know. I don't you, know, but that would be pretty. That would be pretty cool. I'm pretty sure it's been done in a few mute in a few few movies. <laughs> My, I should have done some vocal exercises before this video. Shit. <laughs> vocal. <laughs> Do so. Rami. No. But yeah, this game. I am uh, fucking horrible at it, dude. Look at this. I'm doing property damage and shit. And... You don't care. France. You're American. You're royalty over here. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> Apparently. That's the uh, the hub. You can enter that to change your vehicle at any time. What's interesting that I didn't really understand why they did it in the 360 version and not this one is like so many differences between the games. In the 360 version, you can change your car on the fly at any time from the start menu, which is really nice. Right. This game, you can't do that. You can buy cars at any time and jump into them, but it'll start you at, like, uh, a checkpoint. Right. But if you want to change into your car, you'd have to start at another checkpoint. The AI drivers are assholes. Do not get in their way. They Iron, you know fuck what? You I think up. I just found that out. <laughs> <laughs> because he totally just fucking, like... Yeah, that's something that has not changed from the 360 version. They are fucking dicks. The AI, uh, the AI just pretends you're not there. I know. Well, that's what they're kind of... That's what they're there for. They're artificial intelligence um, pedestrians who are supposed to be artificially intelligently, like, unaware. They're humans. But they're also supposed to be dumb, so they still don't. Like this guy right here? Yeah, he's just driving. He's just driving. He's late to work. <laughs> it's because he drives an a, asshole. <laughs> it's because he drives a stupid. Uh, what is that? A Volkswagen Blue. Yeah, wow. it was, but it was yellow. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, this blue is like the electric car of Europe. It's like a. It was on an episode of Top Gear. Do you watch Top Gear? Yeah, I've seen it. There was like a fuel saving race, and uh, Jeremy Clarkson got one of those, and. Uh, I think it won the event. It was pretty good. Right. Unless that was the one where that was Richard Hammond's pick and Jeremy Clarkson picked the awesome twin turbocharged Jaguar that could travel 7,000 miles on a tank or something. Well, that's Ridiculous. Because Jeremy Clarkson Maybe a thousand all miles about Jaguars. Yeah. It was, it was crazy, though, that the most comfortable, the most expensive, and the fastest car won the gas saving challenge in that episode that is pretty weird it was a diesel jaguar though so that's a little i don't know like you already have diesel is way more efficient though yeah what they say. i would like to have a diesel it's just like the smell would get me because i think diesel like if i'm not mistaken diesel like i know from living around here people rednecks with diesel trucks yeah 
they blow that smoke and it stinks. Yeah. And they do it just because they're douchebags. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you do that, you're a douchebag and I hate you. Fuck you. Yeah. And you're diesel fucking I'm, bullshit. I'm pretty sure... Saucer. I'm pretty sure if this was uh, California, you'd get your truck repossessed, repossessed by the Department of Motor Vehicles. Because that's... I think that's how they take care of those th- things out there. I have Dude, no I'm idea. Fu- you know what? I'm fucking zooming. Or I was zooming. You, you bounced off a tree. Is that a wall right there? I don't know. It looks like a brick wall. It's like Helen Keller driving this fucking car. <laughs> I'm driving by the sound of feel. <laughs> <laughs> The Her favorite color is corduroy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, but uh, on that note, I guess I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. End it. But again, my name is Senior Whoopi. You've been watching the Senior Whoopi Gaming Channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and favorite. And uh, Taylor, anything you want to say before we sign out? It's been fucking real, dude. It's been fucking real. Ta-ra.